Hi my loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Any information that you may need can be found in the description box below. This is a timeless collective reading. Whenever you hear the messages when you're meant to receive it, keep in mind that energy is full, so it could be past, present, or future. Only take the messages that resonate with you. transportation getting a new job traveling i just saw the local travel car here business is here hmm. so are you working on a new business someone working on a new business um this could involve traveling more driving more Wow. So you have your business, higher power, and love offer. And here's the devil. <laughs> With pink diamond. There's a rare opportunity here. Um, this is the second reading I've done where the devil shows up with this very, very good energy. So it feels like there's for sure some type of shadow aspect or some type of monitoring like energy that the collective is dealing with you have love business this is career finances entrepreneurship um just working on becoming more successful there's a very rare opportunity here this double card could also be someone becoming a bit obsessed with um creating like a business or making a love offer Someone could be coming out of their shadow. The waiting game is here. Yeah, somebody is waiting to hear good news on something that they've been manifesting. Trial and error, wow. So somebody is definitely trying to get something to go in their favor. Something that's been up in the air for a while. Clean up. All right, so cleaning up. Whatever... Whatever type of problem a person has, if there's some type of codependency, um, if there's fear, if there's illusions, if, if there's the ego or whatever, somebody is cleaning up their life. They're trying to do some type of shadow work to release this. Someone has to free their mind of something. Cutting the deck here, you have lightning and the star. So it's something here very, very good. Wow. Lightning, the star, and love is here. And here is anger <laughs> and reconciliation. I don't know, to be honest. Someone could be upset that you're manifesting some type of real opportunity. Um... You never want to give too much power or energy to other people around you, but, but the energy is presenting itself here. Or this anger could just be like pent up anger that a person has that's coming to the surface. That someone now has to sort of um, transmute to turn into a, a more positive energy for themselves. Someone has been waiting on a love offer and, and the, there's a higher power stepping in now to ensure that you manifest like this dream into a reality. It, someone has been working like trial and error trying to figure out what to do with their, their money, their career to become more successful. There's a rare opportunity presenting itself, but you may not really know where you stand in this situation. And because of that, this could be leading to there being a bit of fear or anxiety here. And Spirit is saying you need to kind of simplify your, your life, declutter your mind, 
don't let whatever this is get the best of you because this is actually going I, I feel like someone is going to be very pleasantly surprised by how well something can go with the star and the love here someone has romantic feelings or you have romantic feelings for someone and something is about to to happen very quickly something is going to happen rather quickly The love offer is out here twice. And it seems like there is a major turning point because maybe you've been waiting on an offer for quite some time. There's a lot of synchronicities here. I just noticed even this card here is in the shape of like a heart. You have the pink diamond here. There's a love offer that's being manifested. There's certainly a love offer. You see it. But it's something here that has been up in the air for a while. You've been waiting on this. Reconciliation here, passion, rare gift. Someone may be gifting you something. Wow, dating. So this is for sure about love. There's something here about love. There's some pent up like anger. You and someone's egos could have been clashing. Or maybe there's a love. Okay, maybe there's a love offer that has sort of been on hold or up in the air or, or someone has been waiting for the right time to present an offer due to work someone could live at a distance there could be work like a situation with work or someone living at a distance or something like that something though is, is balancing out or someone is trying to balance a situation out someone also could have to possibly move forward this could be creating some type of tension where you're wondering well what exactly Will that mean for your connection? Because there's a change that's going to come about quickly. And it, it seems like it, it could create some type of chaos. But I feel like this situation will only um, be chaotic if you allow it to be that. I feel that, yeah, there's just a, a major shift or change that's happening. It doesn't have to be anything bad. It's just different. I'm not getting a negative energy here, but this devil card, somebody is already obsessing over what may happen. I don't know if someone has received news that someone needs to be more focused on their career. This could be someone's work schedule is changing. Again, someone needing to travel more for work or relocate for work. It's something like that here. It feels though that Whatever this situation is, it's going to lead to a more serious, a more stable offer being presented to you. It's just up in the air right now because there's other things happening around the situation. <laughs> Whatever this change is, it may make you feel like you've been wronged in some type of way. I don't, I don't think that's the case, though. I feel that someone could have very good, pure intentions. It's the timing, though, that has someone a bit worried. Sadness, yeah, there's disappointment here. Wow, and relocation. I See, someone here is sad. Because of the fact that someone is relocating or there's a change in the home. Someone is, is worried that this means that there's going to be an absence of love. This, this could also mean, this could also be if you're maybe dating someone. Someone could be afraid that if they leave for some type of job, someone could also be leaving even for like the military or something. It could be weighing heavily on someone that if they leave or they have to travel more or relocate, that this could ruin the chances of this connection coming together. There's potential here. But there's a, a situation, yeah, dating and then single life. Somebody is worried that a relationship is going to end that has a lot of potential because if it appears that someone here is choosing to sort of level up Someone wants to step into a leadership role. Somebody right now may have to focus on a leadership role more than a relationship. 
or this is why a relationship is sort of up in the air because someone is very hyper focused right now on career finances work they may have to travel their schedule is really hectic So something can't really, it feels, for somebody, you feel like something can't progress. But with this snake card, I don't think that that's the case. I feel like something here is just going through a transformation. Because here is the past, rebuilding, and then marriage. Actually, someone here, yeah, thorns and, and luck. Someone actually is making what could be a very painful sacrifice. So that there could be a more long-term partnership, relationship, or something that even leads to marriage. It may not be presented that way to you, though. But I feel that if you understand that by taking this leadership role or supporting someone in your life in taking this leadership role, somebody right now, you could have experienced something similar to this in the past where you feel like someone sacrifice your friendship or relationship for a job or something like that and so right now because this situation is being presented to you you could have a bit of fear or anxiety about it but it looks like someone is trying to rebuild their life and they're choosing to try to step more into leadership which would actually make them a much better partner The situation is just up in the air right now because someone is really trying to figure a lot out. And they do, you or this person is trying to simplify their life. Someone could be cleaning out a home, a storage, a car, a garage. Somebody could really be cleaning something out with a home. And also, too, like the home represents like your own like spiritual body, your own personal dwelling like someone is really cleansing and clearing their home and, and their mind out someone could be throwing a lot of things out you know also too um this is something that i've seen happen even with myself you'll be very shocked and amazed at how when you start to clean out like a home and you run across things that you perhaps had like keepsake items how it will trigger you because of the old memories Someone right now could be experiencing that where you could be thinking a lot about a past situation. Maybe you're cleansing or clearing something out to move to a different location, a different home, or you're traveling or relocating. But as you're clearing something out, you are also experiencing some type of nostalgia that's creating triggers. I just feel like this reading is telling me, because there's nothing really negative here. Someone is extremely triggered. This feels like, like deja vu type of energy. And I will say from a healing point, to be very careful about a victim mentality because it feels like someone is looking over how a situation happened in the past. And you're viewing something in your present life through the same lens. And that may not be good. Because you could have experienced something in the past that was very similar to what you're experiencing now. And you're already thinking the worst. This situation could be very similar, but it's not the same. So you could be thinking, oh, you know, well, the last time I had to move or the last time I had to travel or the last time, you know, there was a long distance relationship or whatever the case you know, that situation, it was shattered. It didn't go well. This is something out here, though, that has a lot of potential. But there is a shift happening because a painful sacrifice has to be made. But this is a sacrifice that I'm almost certain is going to lead to the, like, the ultimate wish fulfillment. Somebody even could move or change jobs or relocate and everything that you want may be in that new space, that new place. Someone is rebuilding their life after 
hitting a brick wall, like really shedding old skin, letting things go. And it's actually going to prepare you for a new opportunity. You're going to meet someone or you're currently dating someone. This has the potential to lead to marriage. Or you may reconnect with the person. It's something, though, about, a, uh, about your career and your finances, though. It has a major influence or effect on your dating life. Or the person that you're dealing with. Especially like if someone has to travel for work or something like that. There's a very rare gift being offered to you. Somebody is afraid of like cheating, third party energy. Someone is afraid that while someone is trying to figure something in their life out that they may... Um, fall into some type of temptation or something like that. And I don't, that's not what, really what I'm saying. I feel like someone has already been able to sort of tame their, their own shadow. Honestly, this feels like unnecessary worry. That could easily lead to some type of self-sabotage. I talked about this a few days ago. It's, you know, I, I would encourage everyone to kind of look up your, attack, find out what your attachment style is. This is because there's a change in the home or someone's job. They're becoming anxious and beginning to think the worst. And this will make you spiral out of control and sabotage something that is perfectly fine. There is a lot of love and potential here for marriage and leadership and business but there is a change that has to be made let's see three of pentacles and the moon yeah the moon, someone is dreaming of some type of partnership or collaboration or someone wants to go towards like their dream job. This is affecting a relationship. I'm getting like a military person. I'm getting someone who travels. This could be like a, a, a um, travel nurse or something. Someone wants to begin traveling with their job or travel is a requirement. I feel like somebody's partner is already beginning to have questions or doubts or concerns about this. But to be honest, what I, I feel is I don't know. I would say be careful with your subconscious mind leading you to believe that something here is bad. You have the Hierophant, the Fool, and the Six of Swords here. I, I feel that you can take a leap of faith and, and move away from some type of baggage. This is somebody's past that's triggering them that you need to release. Just straight up, somebody has had a situation in the past and it's triggering you now. I'm seeing it clearly. These situations are not connected. And if you are not careful, you're going to sabotage something really good. You need to free yourself from whatever this is in your subconscious mind. This fear of being deceived that you have. You're needing to free yourself and recognize with the Hierophant and the Fool card, you can take a leap of faith and go towards something that's more aligned with your morals and your values, but it requires you to step into the unknown. Let's 
for somebody is is stepping into the unknown of, of possibly even dealing with like a, a long distance relationship or traveling for work or something like that. Look, temperance. Something here is peaceful. It can balance things out. And also, too, uh, someone is concerned of whether or not a person will have the self-control. You have a lot of spiritual guidance and protection. The Hierophant and the Temperance. That's like God and the angels are all in support of you taking this leap of faith. Embracing something that's unknown. Moving away from any type of baggage. Moving on. Definitely traveling. You're dreaming of doing something, but there is fear around it because possibly in the past when you took a leap of faith, it didn't work out. The nine of swords, see? It's fear, anxiety. Justice, though. Justice is saying make the decision to travel. Make the decision to move forward. Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords here, the Strength card, and the Nine of Cups. Somebody here is like a high achiever. Or you have an opportunity to, the Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, Justice, you have an opportunity to really, really step into this leadership role. And to be honest, if someone is watching and you're considering not moving because of a relationship, that wouldn't be smart. You have to go. You, you have to move. You have to move. You have to travel. You have to try something new. Either your, your love life, if, if that's what you're concerned about now, it will survive this. Or you're going to meet somebody new. And you're not going to be worried about whoever or whatever you lost. It feels like whatever you are losing is worth whatever you're about to gain. That's not what a lot of people like to hear, but like I've always, everything and everyone that you lose isn't a loss. If you have, and if you have, maybe you've already lost a significant like relationship or opportunity and you're still sort of grieving over that. Something really, really amazing is about to come in. This could have even been the loss of like a job the loss of a home, the loss of a car, a friendship, a relationship. Somebody could have just experienced a lot of loss in their life. And it feels like what is happening is God may be removing everything from your life to really restore you and give you exactly what you want and what you need. This is a time of a lot of healing and rebuilding. So it's a shedding of your old self. Because wherever you were or however you were thinking, whatever you were doing, you were running into a brick wall and constantly being sad, disappointed, and, and feeling regretful. There's a change that's coming now, and it may honestly not have initially been the change that you were looking for, but it's the change that you need. It's going to lead to business, you know, money moves, power moves. Some of you are... Dating is going to turn into marriage. I, I'm seeing progress here. There's so much potential. And this is a situ like situation in your life are about to go move into things that are long term. It's you manifesting this. This is really good. It's just everything about it is unknown. That's all. You don't you don't know what's happening. <laughs> There's a very rare opportunity that's about to be presented to you. And I feel that I'm talking to somebody. When, lately for me, whenever I get the reconciliation card, I'm not picking up on people connecting with individuals from their past. I've been picking up a lot of past life connections, honestly, 
that are presenting themselves now. Or for some of you, if you are currently involved in some type of situation, you're choosing to do it differently. So the reconciliation card is obviously you doing something over there, being a second chance, you choosing to just go about doing it a different way. Like I said, for some of you, you could have been in a long distance relationship. Now you and this person could be thinking about moving to the same city, maybe even living together. Some of you, you're about to go through a stage where if you and someone have been connected, the relationship may turn into a long distance relationship because of someone's work. And you could be fearful that this is going to ruin this connection. I mean, if it, if it does, it's not the end of the world. But for some of you, it could be the very, it could be the thing that actually drastically improves this situation. Because the financial breakthrough that someone has had, there's a, a big financial breakthrough is going to raise a person's vibration or someone is going to meet other like-minded people in their business or career, wherever they're working, whatever. I feel like this is going to strengthen something here. This drastic change that, that seems um, very uncomfortable to somebody, it feels like it's the shakeup that's going to lead to a very positive breakthrough, believe it or not. It's just, um, for some of you, this is a separation. I see the four swords here. The separate, and it's, it's, it's going to lead to a lot of healing. The nine of uh, wands is here though. This is you feeling wounded already. But here's the judgment and the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody is, is already feeling wounded. I'm hearing the word even jaded or a little burned out. But I'm telling you for sure with the Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Swords here, if there has been some type of deception or betrayal within the family or if there has been financial in, like issues, that's about to change. It, you know, this this feels like something that we all go through. <laughs> you pray to God for a breakthrough and the breakthrough comes, but it just doesn't look like anything that you were hoping. Sometimes you pray for a breakthrough and things get a lot worse before they get better. That's what this looks like to me. You're praying, I want more money. And all of a sudden, you or your partner, you lose a job. Or all of a sudden, you and your or your partner, you have to relocate for a job or you have to travel more. Um, yeah, something is going to get worse before it gets better. But whatever this period of transition is, it's just that it's a period. It's um, It's temporary. But you're being pivoted right into exactly what you want and every, and you're going to get everything that you need. But if you fall victim to like a victim consciousness and self-sabotage and you start to obsess over things and think the worst, you could actually ruin this opportunity. I would suggest really just go on with the flow. Some of you, this is a relationship. Someone has not made the decision or you haven't made the decision to fully commit because of distance or because maybe someone has known that they were waiting to accept like a job out of town or they know that they may have to move or something like that. So they have been careful not to take things to the next level until they figure out what's happening. Someone's career is very important right now. They're passionate about becoming a leader. I don't know if somebody is graduating soon or like I said, like military or something. 
So everything is kind of up in the air. It's like, well, you can't just... Someone has a main permanent decisions just yet because of career, family, or finances. But that's life. But I feel that if you go with the flow here and stay positive, this is going to work out in your favor. Even if you don't get this particular person, this relationship, or this job, there's still going to be something that is perfect for you. But with the judgment and the Ten of Pentacles, somebody is for sure receiving a renewal in life and it's going to lead to a lot of money. Like legacy. This card even says marrying into money. But this right now could have you feeling burnt out, tired, upset. <laughs> it's a sacrifice here. It's like if you support a person or if someone supports you during this time, it's going to really, really work out. Even if it's like a business partnership. Somebody is literally trying to build like a, an empire right now. And they could be, or this is you or someone, they're doing something that they've done before and maybe it didn't work out. But with the judgment card, it's like something, you're being given a second chance. Something here is being done over for sure. Anything else? Two of Wands, yeah. It's you. You have to make a decision. There's two different paths that you can take. So you're making. It, it's time to plan, and you need to plan to go in the direction that's going to allow you to manifest victory, rewards, and success. Even if that means you have to go with this alone, someone has a lot of rewards, recognition some popularity, maybe even fame or praise that's coming. But you have to make a decision. I think this is difficult because someone, yeah, the world, someone has to make a decision to travel, just period. It's, tra it's traveling. Someone has to make the decision to travel, um, to relocate. Someone has to make the decision to to, to create a website, you're, you're needing some kind of exposure here or to be in a different environment and you have to follow your heart and do this. Wow. Because it takes you to healing, hope, stardom. The Eight of Cups is here. This is a new journey. Wow. And you have to stand up and block out anything that's a burden. So, yeah, you have to leave something or someone behind that is currently up in the air. Like, something is currently up in the air. And in order for the wheel to turn in your favor, for you to have your own um, security, stability, or success, you need something that is grounded, that brings you security and stability. So that may mean right now that you have to kind of put love on the back burner and move in a different direction. Or you're dealing with someone right now, they may not be able to completely prioritize this relationship because they actually need to move. It actually feels like if it's a partnership, it feels like both people are being pulled in a different direction. It's like divergent dreams. You and this person both may have some type of dream or a purpose and you're kind of in a crunch right now because both of you want to pursue something. There's a lot of love here. But these business opportunities and leadership opportunities are honest, they're just as important. If it's meant to be, it'll be. But I will say whoever is resonating with this, 
these opportunities for you to grow in your personal life, especially like in your business, there's a very rare opportunity being presented to you. I don't think that you should pass it up for a relationship. And it feels like a test. Sometimes God will give you exactly what you want and then will test you by asking for it back just to see where your heart is. Do you have faith that he can give it back to you, let you keep it, or even give you something else? There's a lesson here around letting go. This is very interesting. Like I'm, I'm very curious as to like what is going to happen if someone is. If this seems sort of specific too, I'm just curious as to what's happening. I, I'm definitely seeing a relationship between two, and somebody is taking a job or relocating. I, it doesn't matter the age, but. It feels like I'm, I'm definitely picking up a person who is traveling for work and then maybe someone being in school or going back to school. And there's some type of, um, I want to say blockage or like stipulation. It's almost like even if you wanted to go with this person or if they wanted to go with you, you can't do it. So again, like somebody could be like in school or something. And they can't just pick up and leave. Or you have kids that are in school. You can't just pick up and go. So whatever this situation is right now, it may be different. Um, it could even seem difficult or uncomfortable. But to me, I feel like it's temporary and it's necessary. That could be what it is. You could have kids in school. And you may want to just pick up and go or... You have a partner and you really, really like this person and they have to try and you're like, wow, I wish I wish I could leave, but you can't because you have these responsibilities and obligations, but that's okay. There is a way that's going to be made that's going to allow you to balance this situation out. I just keep hearing this is temporary. It's temporary, it's temporary. Don't worry about it. It's temp this is temporary. Whoever resonates with this, just know. And this could be something just for some of you, it's simple. You moving into a new home and the commute to take the kids to and from the school is much longer. Or it's something like that. It's something with your your work, your home life, your work and, and commuting or travel or distance. But it's like someone has to make a, this sacrifice because there's more, wherever you're going, there's for sure more money. There's more money, there's bigger opportunities. Hmm. You have Page of Swords and the Death card here with the Knight of Swords. Page of Swords, Death, the Knight of Swords, and then the Ace of Cups. This Page of Swords here, I feel that you're looking for some type of news or information to come in. With Death here, you could be seeing something as just like an ending. Instead of you recognizing that endings bring new beginnings. It looks like you're seeing something as strictly just an ending. Instead of something being a rebirth or a transformation. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups is here. You need to take swift action, really take charge to go after this new beginning. For some of you, it's new love. For some of you, if you really want to be with the person that you feel is who you want to spend the rest of your life with, you're going to have to, you may have to relocate or they may have to relocate. There's a very big decision here. I think I said this in another way. It is, again, it's something about physical location. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's your where you where you are, whoever you're with, is something about it, it inspires you to do something different. Here's the seven of pentacles, the high priestess, and the devil. Eight of swords. Somebody's mind is playing a major trick on them right now. This is self-sabotage energy. The high priestess is about like unknown energy. You're uncertain about whether or not of an investment is worth it. And it's starting to make you feel trapped. Or you're trapped in fear, five of pentacles. Trapped in, in the fear that something is going to lead to a very negative situation in your life because something before has not gone in the way that you wanted. But you have the king of swords here and the four of wands. It's a very like stern, masculine energy. Someone is making... Perfect. Thank you, spirit. There's somebody that's making a head over heart decision to do something very drastic in their life. But this decision, although it seems difficult right now, it's what's going to actually lead you to the happy life, possibly even the marriage and everything else that you want. You're going to have to be more objective in your thinking. Someone is looking at the facts right now, not feelings. Somebody knows that by going somewhere different, doing something different, it's going to bring about emotional fulfillment. Someone needs to do something to make themselves happy or, or feel some level of success in order for them to be able to show up in your life. Or this is something that you're needing to do for yourself. There is a journey that you want to take. And I don't think people talk about this enough that sometimes you will be called to go on your own personal journey, even while you're with a person or whether you're a mom or dad, sister, brother, cousin, wife, husband, whatever, you will still have a journey of your own. And something is being presented to you. It's your, it's destined for you. It's your purpose. And there's really no, nothing or, or, or anyone that should come before this. And I think that if you, pursue whatever this is, the changes that it's going to create for you or for the person connected to you is only going, it's going to enrich you. It's going to make everything so much better. Especially, let's be clear, like finances will improve things. If someone can take a leadership role and have more money, why would you not take it? Somebody could be saying they don't want to take a different job because of the commute time. It's going to be a longer commute. But the money is significantly more. Or someone doesn't want their significant other or their partner to take a job because it's long distance. But it feels like even though something here is long, I don't know. It, it feels like the finances will be provided if you take the opportunity. Like someone may have to relocate for work. But they're going to have enough money to be able to still see you on a pretty regular basis. Like something here is going to work itself out if you just allow it to. And stop thinking the worst about whatever happened in the past. Somebody is afraid that history will repeat itself. Somebody is also afraid that they could lose a partner because of finances or something like that. It feels like someone is afraid that they could lose something. So they went to manifest a better life, but this better life requires a very drastic change. I mean, I think it's going to be really good, whatever it is. I really do think it's going to be good. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. It is so Time to go and loyal heart. Someone has to go, but their heart is loyal. Or this is you. Someone, look at that. Happy, happy is here. 
and co-create in order for you and someone to be able to co-create they're gonna you or this person you have to go on your own journey but nothing is going to change their heart is still loyal to you you're still going to be happy because whatever you and or this person choose to do during this separation is going to allow the two of you to come together and co-create something really really big and great yeah for sure <laughs> love love here if this is someone you're dating this is for some of you is going to lead to marriage both of you have a loyal heart to each other nothing it doesn't matter distance won't change this distance is not going to nothing is going to change the situation here Money is not going to change you or this person. Distance, family issues, whatever obstacle or challenge is here is not going to change the situation. You're just learning how to. I don't know. You're, you're learning how to make this work with a different set of circumstances and conditions. They're not changing or your relationship is not changing just the dynamic of it. Something here is still wish fulfillment. So this is good. You're still going to be very happy. It feels like too if this is. It's a test of, of loyalty. You're going to see that you really can trust the person. Or they really can trust you. And if there has been problems in this situation in the past, it's different this time. It's really different. Now, I'm not talking about the people, you know, you're dealing with someone that's a, a liar, a cheater, schemer, scammer. I'm just talking for those of you, especially, you know, school, financial issues, family issues, distance. Something now is going to the next level. It's going to, um, I'm seeing a card in my head. Your love life is, is is evolving to the next level. It doesn't appear that way because there's something here that's going to create some kind of distance or you may not be able to spend as much time together or whatever. This could be something as simple as you and someone who are dating, your work schedule may change. One of you may be working day shift, they're working night shift. It You know, so... The amount of quality, it's quality time. The amount of quality time you get to spend with someone is changing. But I guess the heart is just gonna grow fonder here. Whoever this message is for, you're gonna be, you're gonna be very happy and surprised by how this shakeup is going to shift a connection in a very positive way. Or how this new job is going to open so many doors for you. Even if it's a new schedule. A lot is about to change though in your life because of one unwelcome change. This isn't a change that you want. But you're going to love it. Just give it time. You'll see. I really want to know like who's going through this like cuz it looks so good to me. This is the type of situation that you it's going to be such an amazing story one day. Like this is the thing you're going to be telling people, you know, I remember when I had to move across country or do this or do that or you know, I remember when my spouse has to go to basic training for the military, whatever it is, it's going to be, this is something, it's a big part of your story. And it's a test of faith and loyalty. But I feel that whatever, this is going to solidify something for you. Especially in a relationship. You're going to know if you can stick beside this person or if they'll stick beside you 
This could even, you know, could be a health issue for somebody. You're about to be tested in a major way. And I think it's going to go really well. There's so much love around this, whatever it is. It's a lot of love. A lot of love and a lot of loyalty. And you're going to be very, very happy. I'm seeing so many hearts and so many stars out here. It's destined for you to be happily in love and doing something that you love. This amazing, especially if you're doing this with another person. They're in a job or a career that they love. You have the job or career that you love. And then you, you love each other. I mean, that's great. But understand that when you are looking to do things in life that you love, there will be challenges. And if this is like your destiny helper or life partner, divine partner, whatever you want to call it, they're going to ride the ups and downs with you. Nothing is going to change. This is so, so like amazing. Seriously. There's so much love and loyalty here. And some, I think that this situation, if you're not married to this person, it's going, you're going to start being open to the conversation or the possibility of marriage. These situations are going to prove that you and someone. So in other words, this situation is possibly preparing someone for marriage. Wow. I'm going to leave it here. Remember to always go with Enzo that you never go without. And please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.